Hey folks, welcome back. So imagine a vending machine, but instead of having sodas and snacks, you've got plants, live plants growing in there that you can eat. We're talking microgreens, edible flowers, leafy salad greens, things of this nature. There's a tech startup upstairs that's developed a prototype for one such farm. And we're gonna go ahead and check it out today and hopefully get to pop it open and have a look inside and try some of the produce that they've been growing. Let's go. Yes, I'm on the fifth floor. Okay, thank you. We're at the Entrepreneurship Center at Cyberport in Hong Kong. And this right here is the smart mobile farm developed by tech firm Pharmacy. With a hydroponic based system for growing, this self-contained farm can sit in an office, housing complex, mall, supermarket, pretty much anywhere where you can plug it in and connect to the internet. To learn more, I meet Raymond Mack, co-founder and CEO. Yeah. So we, we, we start with a uh, urban lab, in uh, urban farm lab in early 2018. Our vision is actually to cut down the distance between the farm and the people so people can gain back the freshness, the safety, quality, uh, which is the flavor and taste and most importantly the nutrient-rich uh, living plants that we can deliver to the restaurants and to the neighborhood. Because we know that even we want to do the traditional urban farming in the city, the rental costs and also the logistics costs you know, uh, will make the whole thing uh, very difficult to sustain. And also, you know, once we harvest the plants, then, uh, you know, it starts degraded, no matter what. All right, so we want to shorten the, the time period in between that. So after some growing pains and coming to terms with the very real challenges more traditional growing operations face, they focused on isolating key control points like temperature and humidity that technology could control. After two to three months of those painful experience, uh, we, we start the technology journey. Uh, and then you know start understanding what kind of points and if we can control all this then how can we fit all these kind of things into a very small and controllable type of devices this is the, the first prototype so which is the oldest model okay our original model uh, and then uh, during that we can see uh, uh, the, the monitor and control points are all here so it actually provides the transparency to the interested people who, who want to consume and or want to try the herbs and, uh, and the vegetable growing in a, in a mobile farm so we tell them you know uh, what is the temperature is, is about right now and then the humidity and also the water level uh, to see whether we want we need to refill the water and then at the same time we track all the pH and the electronic connectivity, which is the indi uh, indirect indicator of the water content, uh, nutrients content within the water. So you can see it, each layer, we, we track it in every single layer to make sure that uh, they have the very optimum point for each plant species to grow. The lights are also tuned and timed to meet the right conditions for each type of crop and the dosage system ensures the right level of nutrients for each level. But how does it all taste? Raymond goes into the field to get me some samples for the moment of truth. First, one of my favorites, arugula, also called rocket. It's a very strong taste. It's perfect. This is wrong. <laughs> how I like it. Next, Oxalis triangularis, something I have growing in the garden at home as well. The leg name is uh, purple blood fly. I mean, i show you why. Flying, flying. Oh, I never thought about that. I've never done that before. Yeah. Very strong taste. Mm. Juicy. Yeah, I was about to say, this one in particular made me salivate. Yes. It had a lot of... Definitely juicy is the right word. Ooh. I like that. Why don't oh, we man. try the microgreens? Sure. So I see some brassicas in here. Take more. Take, <laughs> oh, take more. I'm being too delicate. Mm. Fresh taste. Mm. Do you have some mustard greens in there too? Yes. That's what that is. Yes. That's what that flavor is. Mm. You have a good tongue, man. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's called salad mix, so it's a little bit of a mixture of everything. Mm -hmm. With a few projects already in the pipeline, Pharmacy intends to build and roll out more of these smart mobile farm units throughout Hong Kong, and indeed Asia, later this year, with a project they can't tell me about just yet in Thailand. Until then, I'll be keeping my eyes peeled to see when these mobile farms will start turning our unused indoor spaces into efficient vertical fields of food. Big thank you to Raymond here at Pharmacy for walking us through their setup. Uh, good luck with your upcoming trip. Thank you and, very much. Uh, to bring uh, Hong Kong's agricultural technology spirit throughout Asia. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Happy growing. Bye. See you next time.